Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, your friendly neighborhood Coach Pruitt here with you once again with our daily YouTube video. This video is going to be covering class technically, I guess, Friday the 16th of uh, April 2021, but it's basically just an overview of our Unit 6 task work. Remember that on Friday the 16th, by midnight, your Unit 6 task work is due. This is the last unit of task work that you are going to have for the rest of the year. Uh, this will bring a conclusion to our kind of normal classroom activities uh, as we begin to ramp up our preparation for the end of course test, which is of course in several weeks. So on the screen, what I have for you guys right now is just the task worksheet. This is what you can find at the very top of the module in uh, your Canvas page. Uh, so just a reminder, again, Unit 6 was standards 14, 15, 16, and 17. We did these three standards before spring break, and then our first couple days back, we finished up standard number 17. Here is a list of your key terms. There are about 24 of them, which is the kind of normal average number that we have in each unit. Now, first assignments. Okay, and I want to point it out on this task worksheet, and then I'll go to your Canvas and go to the module. But remember, for key terms, ladies and gentlemen, there are two assignments. You can see over here that they are worth 20 points total, which means that if one of these is done, it's 10 points. If the other one is done, it's 10 points. If you only do one of the two, the max you can make is 10 points. There are some people who have not done a single task work activity all year, including never doing any key terms. So I want to make sure and point that out again because some of you may not know for some reason or have never had any experience doing them at this point. So remember, the easiest way to do the key terms, and this is what Mr. Burroughs and I suggest, especially if you're working virtually, pull up a PowerPoint or Google Slides presentation, make one slide for each word, and on those slides, Write your own definition of what the word is in two sentences and include two images from a Google search. That's the easiest way to do it. You can certainly also do that on a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc. I just think the PowerPoint's easier because you can actually physically just make the slides and make one for each word. However you want to do it is up to you as long as you have a brief definition in your own words followed by the artistic representation of those words. And again, since we are virtual, you can use uh, Google search images. Now, to get into the rest of the task work, I want to go to the module. So remember, if you go to your Canvas page, scroll down to the second section and go to the US History module section, click on the unit number six button, it will take you into the unit number six module. When you get into this module, there's a copy of the task work, the thing that I was just showing you on my screen right here. It has your key terms in it, and it has all these assignments listed. Or you can just simply scroll through this module and look at all of the assignments. Okay, so what we're going to do now together for the next several minutes is just recap very briefly each of these assignments. So that way, if you need to finish one up because you hadn't finished it on your own yet, if you weren't here that day, never did it, never watched the daily video from that day of class, and are like, I don't know what this is, we'll cover it briefly. Uh, and please remember, guys, the daily YouTube video playlist on YouTube has the title of the video based on the assignment for the day and also the date. So, for instance, if you're like, I don't remember what this activity is, I give you the brief explanation. You're like, oh, I didn't do it. I need to go do it. Search the daily YouTube playlist for American imperialism and expansionism. All right. So the first assignment was the interactive map. If you click on that link, there is a downloadable version of this at the top or you can copy and paste this into your own document, or you can just write your answers in your own document or on your own piece of paper. You'll click on this link. It will take you to uh, the website, the National Archives for the United Kingdom, and basically it gives you a map. You follow along with the map and you fill in these sections. Just look at the map and fill them in. There are some questions. They are straightforward. They are easy. All you have to do is look at the map to answer them. And then there are some questions about the specific countries involved in World War I. So that's the map activity. Again, guys, if you need more details about any of these assignments, check out their specific videos in the daily YouTube playlist. 
Uh, next assignment, this was what we did the very first day of the unit. One of the first days of the unit, we talked about American expansionism and imperialism. So if you click on that link, again, as always, it's got a blue download button up top. You can copy and paste this into a blank Microsoft Word or Google Doc. You can just do this on your own blank Google Doc or Microsoft Word document or write it on your own piece of paper. But we talked about as a group the Spanish-American War, the war in the Philippines, and the positive ideas about expansionism. And then we ask you guys to do the negative part of expansionism on your own, followed by the Roosevelt Corollary and the Panama Canal. So these first two and a half columns you probably have done if you followed along in class because we literally went through and did them together. And then we gave you guys the last half an hour of class to work asynchronously to finish up this one and complete these two. So again, remember that's standard 14. You can look at the guided notes. You can look at the PowerPoint if you need to complete this to find your information. Or you can watch the videos in the unit number six playlist on our YouTube channel. All right. Uh, the next assignment is in the World War I section. Remember we talked about originally there were four assignments here. Um, if you're looking at your task worksheet, you're going to see that there's four assignments. We didn't do two of the assignments. We took them off. Uh, the standard 15 graphic organizer, and there was something else, but we took them off. So remember we talked about World War I for a couple of days. We took notes on our own about World War I. The first thing that we did was we talked about the mania chart, M-A-N-I-A, -A, and what each letter stood for. And then we created a chart basically detailing when the United States came into the war and the causes or reasons why they came into the war. Again, guys, if you need reminders on this, go check out the daily YouTube video playlist on our YouTube channel and find the World War I uh, date or dates. And you'll be able to find exactly the notes that we took, where we got the notes from, etc. Yesterday, we assigned you guys this uh, um, worksheet overview of standards 16 and 17. Hopefully, you got this done yesterday. If you didn't, make sure that you click on the link. Again, blue downloadable version. You could do this electronically. Copy and paste it into a Microsoft Word Google Doc. Uh, write your answers on a blank Google Doc or blank Microsoft Word document or write it on your own piece of paper. It goes over the last two standards that we discussed. 16 would be 1920s, which we talked about before spring break. 17 is the Great Depression. For both standards, there is a short matching section for key terms. Some short responses. Notice it says answer as thoroughly as possible. That means more than one sentence. And some multiple choice questions. Shouldn't be too difficult to complete that. It's pretty straightforward. Again, guys, don't forget guided notes, uh, PowerPoints, playlists, Unit 6 playlist of videos, all those things are available to you. We also did this assignment yesterday. You guys were supposed to create your own list. It's a minimum of eight causes of the Great Depression, things that led to events that led to the Great Depression occurring. The cultural change chart. Now, we did this when we discussed the 1920s, when we talked about Standard 16 and all the cultural, social, economic changes happening in the United States. Uh, I gave you consumerism because, one, I wanted you to have it. Two, it's a good example of what yours should look like. So you guys were supposed to use your notes, uh, guided notes, PowerPoints, videos, Internet resources, and fill in for these things. Again, we were asking, what was it? and its effect on society. So make sure that you thoroughly answer. Now guys, again, remember, for this, I don't need you to tell me what a car is. I know what a car is. I know you know what a car is. We want you to give us specific information about the 1920s. So again, guided notes are gonna be the best way to go about that. Very last assignment in unit number six in our task work was the yellow journalism activity. If you guys remember, we discussed yellow journalism in standard 14. It's where you take a true event, add some details, make the story more exciting, maybe even change a little bit of it. The, the goal was to sell newspapers at the time. It's like clickbait in today's world. So we wrote our own yellow journalism article. Again, guys, if you have questions specifically about the assignment, go watch the actual video from that day of class. It will cover all of these things. But essentially, you have a template that you can use. You had to have four things for yellow journalism. You had to have 
on your article where you wrote it, the name of your newspaper or journal, the title of your document, a full story, and we said no more than size 14 font. Uh, this needs to take up one half of the page and the whole length of the page. And then you can either have two images, but you better have a ton of information here, or you can use one of these for an image and one of them to continue your story. I have plenty of examples here for you guys to look at if you want to look at them. Um, there's, uh, there it is. This document up here as well has some examples of them. You can do this on your own piece of paper. You can do this electronically. It's totally up to you. So again, guys, a couple of quick reminders. If you go back to the home page of Canvas, go to the second section, the same place we go to get into the U.S. History modules. You can also find the Tools and Resources section. In the Tools and Resources section for Unit 6, we have a whole bunch of stuff for you guys. It's available. It's been available. But just in case, if you go to the Tools and Resources section, there are standard 14, 15, 16, 17 PowerPoints. The um, review, if you want to look at that, you don't have to because we've already taken our assessment. Guided notes, a link to the YouTube Unit 6 playlist, and a link to the Google Slide presentations or notes. Now, please remember, too, guys, if you're like, oh, man, I want to get to the daily playlist, but I don't remember how to get to Coach Pruitt's YouTube channel. Very easy. Click the link and go to unit number six. And I know you guys know how to navigate YouTube, but just as a reminder, down here at the bottom, that face. That is usually covered. Sorry about that. Uh, up here up top, sorry, you can click. It will take you, well, it sorts the Unit 6 playlist. And then you can click right here on this, and it will take you to our channel. Playlists up top, you can click on that. And over here to the side, sorry, my little screen is in the way. But you can click through the different playlists. We have all the units. Uh, and then we would also have for you guys the daily playlist 